folks, Dirty here for Premiere Basics, and today we're going to create this very cool double world parallax effect from the music video Maniac by the K pop band Stray Kids. I know, K pop is back. The first thing we're gonna need is a low angle shot of a building or a city. Very important is that you have enough sky above the buildings. This room is needed to place the other city shot on top, and that is going to be an aerial shot of a city. I found something on Storyblocks. Because flying with a drone over a city is just not so convenient. Now, inside Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to place the city drone shot on video track one, and on top goes the low angle shot. Now, with that top clip selected, head over to the effects controls, opacity, and pick the pen tool to draw a mask around the building. Now, it doesn't have to be super precise, but do try your best. When done, the bottom clip will reveal. Search for the vertical flip effect in the effects library and drag that to the bottom clip, flipping it upside down. And now it's just a matter of dragging it to the right position, and by the bim bada boom, that's already half of the effect. We've got a double world. Now, if you don't have a building shot like I do, you can always use a heavily feathered mask in the sky to blend between two clips. The workflow is the same. Next up will be the color matching of the two shots. My top city is quite teal and orange, so I'm going to match my bottom part of the shot. With the telemetry panel, I head over to the color wheels to add some blue or teal in the shadows and orange into the midtones. If needed, I can further tweak the exposure settings in the basic correction tab. Try to match the two shots, that's gonna be very important. And if you've been enjoying this tutorial so far, definitely check out my course on the advanced tools on Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll be covering editing workflows, multi-camera, advanced animations with the graphics essentials, how to create your own templates, custom transitions, time remapping, masking, color grading, audio mixing, and so much more. I've been getting overwhelmingly positive feedback, and the class has even been staff picked by Skillshare. So if you want to learn everything there is about Adobe Premiere Pro, this three hour long class is the one you need to follow. Each lesson is short and to the point. You'll be in touch with me through a discussion forum to answer all your questions. And since I'm among the top teachers at Skillshare, I'm able to give new students one month of Skillshare Premium completely for free. So go check out the first link in the description down below to start this class right away. And that was a shameless plug, now let's go back to the double world. Let's place some floating cars in the sky, as seen in the original. I have this picture of a car with a transparent background, which I drag into the timeline on top of everything. Then search for the basic 3D effect and add it to the car image. With the distance to image setting, you can push the car far away, making it small. Then I'm going to start animation for the swivel and the tilt. Go further in time and change their values a little bit. Keep it subtle, this gives the car a fake feeling of being 3D. And because the car is so far away, you don't notice the actual perspective change isn't really happening. Next, I will also be giving the car a position animation, making it slightly go up in the air. Be very subtle with your animations though. The car is animated, but it isn't really matched properly in the scene. First thing, lower the opacity to around 80%, and this will fade it a little bit better with the background. Next, add a Gaussian blur effect and increase the blurriness a tiny bit. Distant objects shouldn't be too sharp. And if needed, let's use Lumetri to do the last color matching. Again, you might want to introduce that teal and orange as we've done before. Now, you want to put some more cars in there. The process is exactly the same. Just make sure that you have a slightly different animation for every car, making them more random. And look at that, we have our world, we have our floating cars, now let's add also those blue energy cracks in the sky, just as in a music video. I'm gonna need a stock clip of some cracks, which I again got from Storyblocks. By the way, I'm gonna leave a link to the library in the description down below. Really awesome, check it out. This is a transparent PNG, so I can instantly go ahead and place it on top in a timeline and look for the tint effect. Add that to your image. You wanna change the color of the blacks to blue. Next, look for the VR glow effect and add it to the image. Play around with the settings to get a soft, natural glow. Finally, change the blending mode of the entire image to add, which is going to blend it better in with the scene. Finally, look for the basic 3D effect, which you want to add to the cracks image as well. Use it to bring the cracks into place and match it with the perspective of the skyscrapers. Now, the sides of the cracks will be cropped off because of the 3D effect. But no worry, simply increase the normal scale property to fix that issue. Next, I'm going to mask the excess cracks because I only need it over the top city. And you can do this roughly and of course, feather it a bunch. 
And that's it. That's how you can make an upside down parallax world effect, either with or without the cracks energy. That is up to you. Now make sure to hit that like button super hard to support the channel as that will help in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new today and as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video or the playlist here on my left to see more really cool effects videos. And if you want to subscribe to the channel to see us every single Wednesday, well then click the subscribe button down there. All right, bye.